Hi there, Kevin from Bar 18 Creations. Uh, today's video, uh, how-to video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple wine rack that will hold three bottles. Uh, I've been making them for quite a while. I've sold quite a few. Uh, it's real common. A lot of people make them. But uh, <clears throat> I thought I'd demonstrate how to make one. So if anybody has any questions, uh, they can see how to make one. Uh, all right, so the things you'll need to make a wine, just a simple wine rack, are eight shoes, horseshoes. Uh, I use the two lights. They work really well to fit pretty much any wine bottle you'll uh, you'll need for to fit in there. Along with, uh, I like to use four 11R vice grip uh, clamps. Uh, that'll be used to hold everything flat when we're welding along with uh, I use two 18R vice grip clamps and you'll see where I use those along with uh, I've got just a uh, piece of angle iron here uh, it's, and so that'll use be able to keep everything square uh, and so something like that just kind of some flat surface so you can keep your bottom square uh, along with uh, two clamps, uh, these angle clamps, and that'll be when we put the two sides together, that'll put everything, uh, help keep everything square so I can weld stuff together. So all right, we'll get started here. Uh, so first thing I like to do is take my angle iron here, clamp it down, that just gives me a flat surface to put everything against, and then take uh, three horseshoes, and you'll put them down together, and I like to have them angled just a little bit, uh, mainly I like to keep, uh, you can see the the mark there you can see where stuff was put together when it was forged uh, and it was cut there's a flat spot there I like to put those together that just keeps everything it's a good reference point to make sure stuff is fairly square and even with each other so we'll go ahead and clamp those down Make sure your surface is clean. Put this back together. Alright, so I've got everything fairly flat there, then we'll stick our top shoe on, and my reference point here is the edge of these bottom two shoes. I kind of keep those on the outside here. If you come across at an angle, it'll, it'll catch the bottom of the slot here, and that just kind of, and you can also use the flat spot at the bottom of the shoe here and kind of eyeball it to keep it in the center and square so then we'll use our 18R clamps Make sure and clamp that down All right, so now we've got everything flat. We'll go ahead and weld it. Uh, and I'm using uh, a Miller 
Millermatic uh, 210 wire feed welder. Uh, that seems to be, that's just what I have. Uh, any kind of welder will work. You can do it any way. And so we'll go ahead and weld this in place. Alright, so we got that welded in place, so we'll do the other side now. So there you can see what that will turn out looking like, and so we'll just duplicate this same process and put those together. All right, <clears throat> so now we've got our two sides put together. All right, so we can get our flat piece out of there. So here's where the magnets come in. You can go ahead and clean that stuff up. Uh, and actually, a lot of times, once I get to this point, I like to clean what berries I can up that have gotten on here. Just makes it a little cleaner. And then I'll even take a wire wheel. Uh, I've got a wire wheel on a bench grinder. And I'll just clean up my welds. It just kind of helps clean up some of that slag and stuff. So there, as you can see, it just helps get everything a little cleaner. All right. So our other two shoes will come in now. So what we'll do is it's totally up to you. Uh... If you want to have your two sides, have them facing away from each other, and that way you can turn the wine rack around, whichever direction, doesn't matter. Uh, you'll always have the, the bottom of the shoe facing out. Or uh, you can turn them around and have them both facing the same direction. Uh, that I do that quite a bit, and just that way Whenever somebody looks at it, you can see, you only see this side of the shoe at either time. So that's the way I'm going to do it. So what we'll do is we'll take our magnet here. And make sure our side is good and firm against the table. And we'll take this other shoe. We'll slide it just on the 
the outside. our shoes sit straight up and firm against the table. All right and the reason I like to have this shoe on the that holds everything together uh, right here even with the front and the back is if you were to ship it I ship them a lot in large flat rate boxes and so that's just the perfect height I can fit in a flat rate box and ship it for the large. Uh, if you go on the inside, it's a, it gets pretty tight. It doesn't quite fit, and the post office doesn't like uh, the box to be bulging just a little bit. They want it to be flat. Uh, so uh, now that we got that there, we'll go ahead and tack that one in place. All right, so that one's in place now. So we'll turn it around and we'll do the same thing to this side. So we've got our sides put on there. Now what we'll do is we'll slip these magnets in here. Like that. And then this way it'll help keep this other side square that in place so we'll go ahead and tack that now we'll make sure that's square and we'll go ahead and tack this side. We got those tacked. I like to go ahead and weld each corner together now.
there you have it. It's a horseshoe wine rack. And as you can see, it'll fit various size bottles here. It's just a nice, uh, nice looking three bottle holder. Uh, so, so there again uh, is a three bottle holder horseshoe wine bottle holder. Uh, if you have any questions or comments you'd like to make or ask about this for this video, leave a comment below. And I'll get back to you, or you can contact me at bar18creations at gmail.com. Uh, also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up uh, and share it with anybody you think would be interested in one. Uh, and be sure to check us out on Facebook, search Bar 18 Creations, or Instagram. I put a lot of our uh, orders that we make and ship out. Go on Instagram, you can see pictures there, or visit our website at bar18creations.com. So until the next video, uh, good luck with your projects and we'll see you next time on Bar 18 Creations uh, how-to videos. Thank you.